It came in an exciting box. A standard box, so to speak, yet a box nonetheless filled with the excitement of new opportunity, new hope. Or just an expensive paperweight, depending on the owner. At the time, it was the latest and greatest. The flagship, the shooting star, the thing to have. It's two years old now, but with age comes wisdom. Or generally just more experience using the damn thing. This story is all about this lens, and aspires to provide you with the insights to learn whether or not it's right for you. Or would simply be that expensive paperweight. After field testing this lens for nearly two years, I find it to be the ultimate 35mm lens and a no-brainer to put on my camera almost 100% of the time. If I'm going out on a bike ride, guess what camera and guess what lens I'm bringing. In my experience, this is the best bring it anywhere you want to lens. Something to always keep the camera bag. And that's because it's fun to use. Small, lightweight. I like the photos. Not only that, but this lens just tends to work perfectly for things like street photography. Because the focal length is wide enough to help you capture just about anything. And it's a small enough, effective enough lens to bring everywhere. Let's just take the long way home. You've got me running in circles. You'll notice this lens is great for almost anything. Portraiture. Smile. I also love to use it for landscapes. You can take this lens almost anywhere and capture incredible photos. That's one of the reasons I like it. I think this lens passes the field test. Images from this lens tend to be excellent, if not remarkable. They have a strong sense of color, contrast, pop, pizzazz, and more. At the most open of open, the widest of the wide, an aperture of f1.4, you'll see that this lens produces a perfect balance of focus and sharpness along the focal plane, along with a perfect balance of bokeh everywhere else. Look here. Despite these excellent attributes, this lens has several follies. If we look at the lab tests, the number one folly is its bad breath. It's breathing heavy. Shit. Along with that, it has issues with vignetting and chromatic aberration. Both of which can be dealt with after the fact. However, they show the ultimate issues with this lens. Despite these factors, it alleges to be the best, the ultimate, the one to go for 35 millimeter f1.4 lens in the market. Hope you like this one. This one was a little, uh, a little wild to do, but I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, do please like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed videos like this. I've got a lot more on the way. We'll see. I don't know if I'll do another uh, Wes Anderson style one like this, but I want to hear. What do you think?